here at Phuket Airport. We just arrived. And uh, this place is far from Phuket, the actual city. Saying it's an eight hour bus ride. So I think all the main buses, it's 10 o'clock, are already gone. So the plan, I think, is going to be to go out that door, explore, get some food, find a place to sleep. Hey, outside the airport here. So we got about a 15, 20 minute walk that way. And then uh, there's a supermarket. So first thing we gotta do is fill up on some food, water, get all the essentials, and then I don't know, find a place to crash. So at a store here and they got, you know, when they have these pallets, they were separated by this cardboard. So this cardboard is good in terms of the size, but it's never that good in terms of its quality. But I have some more cardboard that I found over there already. Uh, it's a little past midnight, so I got myself a little bit of food, and it's very, uh, it's very easy. So, found a good spot that I can stay in until the sun rises, and uh, gonna grab my stuff and go back. Yeah, I have a nice setup tonight. I have four pieces of cardboard, um, power. There's no bugs, so this this should be fine tonight. And you always get, just gotta look around your situation and maybe look at four or five different spots and then pick the best one all right well this is really not working out to be honest uh not working out because i'm just too close to the road too much noise can't fall asleep five o'clock in the morning now so looked up on booking uh there's room you can check in at 8 a.m so well found a much nicer place here get, the fan blowing on me. get some cushions Sleep here for a few hours and then uh, get the hotel room. Okay, got to sleep a little bit. The sun's coming up now, or oh, it's up. <laughs> uh, Check-in is at eight o'clock, which is in 30 minutes. So I just called there and actually this hotel here is part of the hostel, so I have to wait here. So it's pretty cool. Looks like I get a pool and I was already here. This big guy is the bathroom. Nice, awesome. Bathrooms, showers, uh, homemade like wooden doors, blocks. It's really nice. And this is the. Okay, sun is setting. Near Pyong, there's a national park here. So I'm gonna try to get down to the water for the first time in Thailand and uh, do a little swimming. They do do one thing that I hate here, do do. They have, you know, foreigner prices and then local prices for parks, which uh, I hate. I mean, I understand charging a little bit more, but when it's, you know, 40 baht compared to 200 baht, like. So before hitting the beach in Thailand for the first time, I was just walking by this place. I don't know, if, I don't think it's abandoned. Although it's not in great condition, but there's like a uh, little resort here right next to the airport. And here is something I have not seen in 20 years that I used to love. A diving board. I haven't seen a diving board in forever. If they're made illegal in America, you can't install them. Oh yeah. Finally made it to the beach in Thailand. Beautiful sunset. Yeah. I'm gonna jump in the water in a minute, but this is uh, kind of a famous beach, Phuket Beach, where usually the planes are flying. It's uh, later in the day now, but the planes are basically flying right over the water. The airport is right there. I'm gonna try to go out to this outcropping here and uh, see what's around the corner. Smoke a joint and go for a swim. Okay, so this is the downtown, or well, the beach area here by the airport in Phuket. Phuket's really like an hour and a half away. I'm not sure why they call it that, but uh, ocean is right there. And just a lot of the same stuff in terms of uh, people selling weed, Thai massages, and restaurants. Pretty much all it is. 
Well, this is my hostel. It's the second day I've stayed here. The first day I paid ten dollars. Second day, twelve dollars. So you have a nice little area here to hang out. It's very like tropical, very Thailand bungalow type of thing. A nice waterfall that just turned off here. Some birds. nice little like oasis back here have some chairs and places to hang out even have a guitar set up which you can use for free which is pretty awesome another little sitting area here <clears throat> so back here we have some showers bathrooms it's a real bungalow type of thing you can go inside the hostel have your kitchen set up, fridge, uh, water, areas to cook and all that. Then they have a full menu here also. Uh, serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I'm going to the room. I'm kind of quiet, but I'm sure my bed. Nice little pool area here. You can get coconuts. Sometimes they come and bring you coconuts. That's the area where you can uh, order food and stuff like that and check in also. Well, I was just kind of uh, going for a walk, actually going to the beach. Sunset. Here I'm on top of a building. And uh, I just saw this building and thought maybe I can get to the top and get a nice view. And this is the whole main part of town. It is absolutely beautiful. So you have the airport right over here. This is the famous airport that uh, planes flying in go right over the beach. These are the beautiful mounds that are just on the south side. It's a marshland and, and it's really just really beautiful here. In the state park here, you got a whole kids area and stuff and camping and all kinds of stuff for kids to do here, which involves uh, nature. All right, made it down here to the beach. Trusty bicycle. So at this point, I just kind of relaxed and set up my camera, did a time lapse, and watch the sunset as. I always do. It's my favorite thing. This is a pretty cool little area of Thailand. Um, I've never seen anything where you land at a major airport and there's nothing around, but it's also kind of nice because after this, I go to the party area and uh, it's much crazy. Okay, okay.